Greetings everybody, Multi Retro Man here. Now, uh, for many years I've been a big fan of Grand Theft Auto. I can't say as I'm particularly keen on the shooting, that type of stuff, do you know what I mean? I'm not bothered about that. The fact that it's a sort of an open world game that I enjoy. However, uh, funny, I've got a funny feeling that Rockstar Games seem to have lost a plot with it somehow. Because the, things don't really seem to be going that well for them. I mean, think about from the very beginning, you had GTA 1 and 2. Which, 2 was a big improvement, but then 3 came along, 3D fantastic and all the games after that have obviously been 3d now gta 5 was obviously one of the main things that got them loads of money um i had it on the xbox 360 and then i purchased a, an X, i got a ps4 purely because the the game had you know first person's perspective driving so you could actually look in the car which i thought was fantastic the lights on the back of the controller were brilliant because they changed colours depending on what was happening. So whichever character you were, it changed the colours, you know, the police, it had flashed sort of blue and red. It was absolutely awesome. These other things, for example, the new consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, and the Xbox Series S probably, um, they did a different, a newer version or an updated version, which I thought, well, to me, they should have released a GTA 6. It's what? They've released the trilogy, you know, GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas as a as a pack, which I thought, why would they do that? Because obviously they want people to revert back. Now, but I would have thought that they would have done something like Liberty City Stories, that type of thing that they had, where it, the, the game, if you like, was different. It had different stories to it, but it appears that it hasn't. The improvements that they're saying is it's you can go in the water and not die, things like that. But they've pulled it back from the shelves because they've released it too early. Or they've released it without realising there was content in it that they didn't want to release. So it's been pulled temporarily. I think it's a big bad move, to be honest. And people were just get people getting already fed up with the fact that they're just releasing add-ons, that type of thing, for GTA 5 on newer consoles rather than releasing new stuff, new games. Now, personally... I mean, I enjoy playing Grand Theft Auto V. I played it quite a lot. But I found myself stop. I don't play it anymore because I've just had enough of playing the same thing, the same map. You know, the, yeah, there's loads of stuff you can do, finding more stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm thinking there's only so many times you can drive around trying to find things before you get bored. And I've got bored with it. Yeah, I've done things like riding bicycles, that type of thing. But I really don't see the point in having a game that is just basically being rehashed or re just having different graphics. You know, it, it's all well and good. But for lack of the PC, there's been various add-ons for, for the, like um, GTA 4. You know, that they've done different updates on GTA 4 with better graphics. So they look ultra realistic and amazing. So to me, yes, I mean, yeah, if you want to buy a, a PS5, then you should really be able to play the older game on it. You know, it should be backward compatible. But I don't know why they've done it. It's like a cash cow for them now. They're just basically milking it for as much as they can. But unfortunately, I think the others have run dry. One other final thought as well about the thing is it's £54.99 for a rehash of three old games. But not only that, it's full of bugs as well, as been many YouTube videos done. Now, if it included said GTA 4 as well, then it might not have been as bad, you know, an updated version of that with lovely graphics, etc. But... He doesn't even have that. So the games are very old. So to be honest, you could probably buy a cheap old computer and buy the game second hand cheap or get a compilation or whatever and install it like that and play the old games properly as the intended. Even an old PS2 for that matter, the PlayStation 2, because the games obviously they only yeah, got much slightly better graphics, but at the end of the day, why would you pay that much? It just seems ridiculous. Because obviously you've then got to make sure that if you buy a PS5 or whatever. You know, you're paying loads of money for PS5 and Xbox Series X or whatever. I just think it's an absolute rip-off, to be fair. I mean, £54.99? Absolutely bonkers. So I went on the uh, the website yesterday, and it does appear that the game is back on sale again. But really, I mean, I think the negative publicity that the game has had so far, or the trilogy, should I say, I just don't see many people buying it from now on. You know, it's okay thinking, oh, yeah, we'll get this thing. But you're still basically getting an old game with rehashed graphics, but the bugs in it where you can slide down, 
near the water and go underneath the water, but then you sort of go, drop down the empty sort of bot the bottom of the map. Like used to be that some of the older games, you know, you get to the end of a certain thing, you go to the end of a map or something, and you just drop off the edge of the map because obviously people didn't think you were going to get that far, that type of thing. But in this day and age now, it's just unacceptable. And the problem is because I think you can re you can sort of release updates for things so quickly, you know, so they can fix things quickly, which is great. But it also makes the that what can I say the the game's creators to be able to release a game that's full of bugs like it is because you know they might use the excuse way it's okay we can update them very quickly there shouldn't be bugs in in the first place the games testers should have done the job properly it's just very 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 poor um and i think rockstar games are going a little bit downhill with this release i mean if there was a if there was a, a newer version like you know gta 6 that came just for the ps5 Oh, the, I mean, I know that I'm going to say it's going to help sales, but I mean, the, you know, they've sold really, really well anyway without even a GTA 6. But I think if they had a GTA 6, then a lot more people would be happy with Rockstar Games. So what are your thoughts on this matter? Do you think it's a rip-off as well? Do you like it? Have you bought it? What do you think to it? Let me know in the comments and stuff and consider subscribing. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And like I said, thanks very much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And if you like some of my merch, check my other videos out as well for like hoodies, that type of thing. Thank you.